Today, let's look at how to create a mock-up using a displacement map. First, let's create our displacement map by going to Layer Styles, Hue Saturation. We're going to bring the saturation all the way down so it's black and white. Now we're going to do a Save As T-shirt Displacement. And you need to open your original document if you already had that saved or you can remove that layer style and do a save as to get your regular image. Next we're ready to place our graphic or your text. And we can add our displacement map now by going to Filter, Distort, Displace. And I'm going to leave the original settings since we won't be resizing after placing. And you can see it's shifted just slightly. If you show and hide, you'll see the difference. Now we can change the color of this graphic by using a blend mode here, or we can make this really editable by bringing the fill down to zero. And if you double click on your layer, it's gonna bring up layer styles to add your color overlay. And you can adjust your blend mode to give it an effect that looks most realistic. In this case, I'm going to stick with normal and bring down the opacity just a little bit. One thing you're going to notice is all of this fuzziness. So we need to go back to our displacement map. Click on the background and go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to need to give it a blur depending on what the resolution is of your image. Sometimes one pixel will look good, otherwise you need to bring it up more. In this case, I'm going to need a two pixel blur. I'm going to go ahead and save and close. And we need to re-add the displacement. So you can click on Smart Filter and drag it to the trash. Let's go back to Filter, Distort, Displace. And this is looking much better, way smoother than before. So again, here's before and after. It uses the black and white values of the displacement map to alter your image. Let's look at another example that's more extreme and has some folds. We need to create our hue saturation. Do File, Save As. Open our cloth. And this time let's use a text layer. I'm going to do Command T to transform and enlarge this. For a text layer, we need to either rasterize this or convert it to a smart object. If we convert it to a smart object, it's going to make it more editable for in the future. So right click on the layer, convert to smart object, and we're going to place the displacement map. And you can see we might want to blur the displacement just a little bit, or if you want that bleed effect that's happening. But I'm going to take the fill down to zero again, double click on the layer to bring up layer styles, and give it a colored layer.
And let's look at some different blend modes. Whatever you choose, if it has highlights and shadows like this, you want to make sure that those show through as if it were actually printed on there. So let's try color burn. Now that we have our mock-up created, you can double click on the actual thumbnail and you can resize your canvas. I'm going to do crop and then enlarge this. And you can place any graphic or alternate text in this smart object and either hide or delete the other layer. Now I'm going to do Command S to save and you can see this has been updated.